Hello everyone. For this session, we will talk about the schools of Chinese Kung Fu. Chinese Kung Fu can be divided into a great variety of schools. They are usually named after the mountains and the geographical landmarks where they were born, which conveys an implication of regional cultures. Such schools, which enjoy a worldwide fame as Shaolin, Wu Dang, Emei, Kong Tong, Kunlun, and the alike, were all formed on famous Buddhist and Taoist mountains. Shaolin School, Shaolin Kung Fu is the mainstream of Chinese Kung Fu. It has the broadest scope, the longest history, and the most various fist techniques. As the saying goes, that. All Kung Fu comes out of Shaolin, and Shaolin Kung Fu excels in the world. The magnificent Shaolin Temple on Songshan Mountain in Dengfeng of Henan Province is the cradle of Shaolin Kung Fu. According to historical records, Shaolin Temple was built during the Northern Wei Dynasty under the reign of Emperor Taihe, when an Indian monk. Ba Tuo came to China. In the sixth century, Bodhisattva from India visited Shaolin Temple and taught Chan Buddhism. With regard to the origin of Shaolin Kung Fu, there are a lot of legends with no historical records for reference. In fact, Shaolin Kung Fu originated from. Monks' long-term practice of Chan meditation, temple protective measures, and body building. Through continuous development and improvement, it has absorbed the essence of different schools, integrating Chan Buddhism into Chinese Kung Fu. It is also known as Chan of Martial Arts. Rich in content, unique in style, and practical in orientation. Shaolin Kung Fu has now developed into an extensive and profound school, consisting of fist fighting, sanda, freestyle fighting, weapon fighting, and body building techniques. According to the records of training manuals. Passed down within the temple, Shaolin currently has 708 forms of kung fu, including 552 sets of fist fighting and webbed fighting, in addition to a total of 156 sets of other various techniques. Wu Dang School, well known as the saying that Wu Dang is respected in the south. And Shaolin in the north, it manifests the two schools' status and impact in the world of Chinese Kung Fu. Wu Dang has absorbed the essence of Chinese traditional life nourishing views, and accumulated the great achievements of fighting skills. It applies such philosophical theories as Tai Chi, Yin, and Yang. The eight diagrams and the five elements into the principles of practice and fighting skills. It is characterized by natural relaxation and being soft on the outside and tough on the inside. In terms of the history of Wu Dang School, Zhang Sanfeng, a Taoist in the late Yuan Dynasty and the early Ming Dynasty. Would be the first coming to one's mind. He integrated the internal alchemy of Taoism, guiding techniques of regimen and fist techniques from various schools, and created Nei Jia Quan Boxing, an internal style, which is proper for self-defense, self-protection, and health preservation. Up to now, there have been no less than 60 different Wu Dang fist fighting techniques, including Tai Yi Wu Xing Quan, Tai He Quan, and so on. There also exist dozens of 
wu dang weapon techniques such as wu dang sword, xuan wu staff, sang he blade, shovel, etc. Besides, wu dang kung fu comprises a variety of special techniques, including huo qi gong, similar to tie bu shan, huo xue gong, blood narration skills, focusing on health, and acupoint hitting skills. Ermei School Among the three major schools in the central plains, Ermei School is named after Ermei Mountain, which is located in Sichuan Province. It is deeply affected by the religious cultures of Taoism and Buddhism, as well as the regional cultures of folk customs and traditions of Sichuan. In the novel, The Heaven Sword and the Dragon Saber, written by the famous Chinese writer Jin Yong, the school was said to be founded by Guo Xiang, the daughter of Guo Jing and Huang Rong, two heroes in the Southern Song Dynasty in the novel. It is said she was traveling the world, but her sudden enlightenment changed her into a lawn and set up a May school. Putting aside the legend in the novel, Ermei School achieved progress during the Wei and the Jin dynasties and saw an unprecedented development during the Ming and the Qing dynasties. Ermei School advocates the combination of both dynamic and static movements. In the dynamic part, there is 12 stake boxing which connects the situations of yin and yang and the physical conditions of human body with the martial arts. In the static part, there are six special techniques, including the tiger steps, etc. Three main weapons, the sword, the helping, and the needle make Ermei Kung Fu beautiful in postures and full of power. Kung Tong School Born in the Kongtong Mountain in Pingliang City, Gansu Province, the Kongtong School is divided into eight major subcategories. The movements of Kongtong display a soft sense of beauty as its body movements, footwork, and hand techniques are delivered in arc lines and curves with an aesthetic perception. All the weapons used by Kong Tong are small and short, soft and light, and somewhat strange, such as fans, dusters, and whips. Kunlun School Kunlun School originated from the region of the Kunlun Mountains. Kunlun faced a fighting technique, a vigorous and strong fighting style with fast and fierce movements. Typically represents this school. The variety of hand styles, offensive and defensive combination, and the integrated exercise of hands and feet are complemented with flexible and solid footwork. In addition, Kunlun School's time honored Da Yang Gong imitates the form of wild gaze and incorporates guiding techniques of regimen to form a set of advanced techniques functioning to prevent disease and maintain physical health. In comparison, Shaolin School is masculine, specialized in office and characterized by long-range usage of hand techniques. Wu Dang School is feminine, specialized in breathing techniques and characterized by short-range usage of hand techniques. Ermei School is both tough and soft, combining internal and external techniques, long-range and short-range exercises, and offensive and defensive approaches. Kong Tong School is soft and aesthetic, combining martial arts with Taoism and fighting techniques with bodybuilding exercises. And the fist fighting techniques of Kunlun School are vigorous, fast, various, and unique. 
In this session, we covered the five major schools of Chinese Kung Fu, Shaolin, Wudang, Emei, Kung Tong, and Kunlun. What are the fist fighting techniques of Chinese Kung Fu? We will talk about that in the next session. Thank you for your attention.